I have a bit of a problem. So let's go right. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today is Ascension Day. And today I'm riding together with my father. And we're doing a, a tour or a, a route that's called the Water Tower route in the Netherlands. Now I'll pop it up the, on the screen here and you can download it down below in the description. Okay. Uh, it's basically a 250 kilometer route along uh, Water Towers in the Netherlands. The weather today, it's a bit cloudy. Oh. It's a bit cloudy. At the moment it's I think 12 degrees. Uh, it will go up to 15 degrees, so it's not super warm, but it's really nice riding weather. Uh, I missed this ascension today, but it will take quite a bit of time before this video is online because I'm well behind with editing my videos. There's the water tower we just passed. You may ask what's so special about water towers? Well, okay, you, you need to like engineering and uh, technical stuff a little bit, but for the oldest water towers in uh, the Netherlands are roughly from the mid 1800s. Uh, and historically they had two functions. The water towers are built 20, 30 meters high and on the, in the top they have a water reservoir and what that big tank with water does is it makes sure that there's a constant pressure in the water lines you know, in the 1800s, 1900s there were no fancy electronic uh, control systems for pumps to make sure that there's a constant pressure and water supply in the lines they put a big reservoir of water on a high elevation. The elevation makes sure that there is a constant pressure of water in the line and it also acts as a buffer to uh, uh, absorb any surges in the water consumption. If a complete city would flush their toilet at the same time you have a, a spike in the water supply and that is something that these water towers can accommodate as well. Uh, nowadays we have really fancy uh, control systems on, on pumps uh, and uh, even some of the pumps they have uh, regulators or speed regulators that make sure that the pump runs at the set speed. But yeah, that was not the case in the, in the past and even nowadays uh, there are still about half of the water towers that exist in the Netherlands that are still operational. There are still about 170 water towers in the Netherlands and we're definitely not going to visit all of them today or ride past all of them today. So they cannot really accommodate uh, a large power outage or but they typically can still accommodate 15 minutes or half an hour of water supply to the, to the water system. Um, and the other half of these uh, water towers have been repurposed. Uh, people make apartment they make uh, an apartment in it or they, they convert it to a house or to a restaurant. So that's about a little bit of background about the, uh, the water towers. And for the rest we will visit a lot of dike roads, small city centers. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but nice big church tower uh, on the right. Yeah. There's another one. This one is for sale, so this one probably you can convert to uh, to a house. You do have some uh, problems <laughs> with natural light in that case, but. Uh, Now we have another water tower.
Ja, ik, ik heb... Ik heb dat toch niet gezien, jawel? A few moments later. Zo. Ja. Even bit of uh, problem. Clutch cable broke. So, we call the, uh, the breakdown servers. Let's see if they can, uh, can fix it. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Doesn't really look that hopeful. I already felt it when we entered the village that it was squeaking a little bit or it felt like something broke inside the, the, the cable. Well, hopefully it's not the end of the ride. We'll see. Two hours later. The road repair service or the breakdown service pulled in another uh, clutch cable with some universal joints. I ordered a new one, but at least we can continue the ride for uh, a little bit longer. Which is pretty nice. I thought we were, I was gonna be toad home. And we actually got stopped on the, uh, <laughs> the most busy part of the road, of the, of the town. So, because there's some kind of uh, event in the, in, in the village or in the town. Which basically closed off half of the town, of half the roads of the town. The guys from Breakdown Service, well, they were really nice, skilled people. So, AWB, thank you very much. We at least can continue the, the ride for today, 12.30. So we're gonna look for a place to have some lunch. Which is preferably not a gas station. Yeah. Over the distance there's another water tower. Just visited our friends at the, the, the Big Yellow Arches or McDonald's. Because frankly we struck out of luck finding a place for lunch. And uh, it was uh, uh, 2 o'clock so <laughs> well past lunch time. <laughs> but anyway, now we can continue to ride. We're gonna ride for about uh, another half an hour, an hour and then head home. We lost quite a bit of time with the clutch cable, so that was unfortunate, but there are worse things in life. See if there are still a few uh, water towers left on the route, I have no clue. And otherwise, just enjoy the ride. Sun started shining again. So, happy days. Yeah. Dat gaat toch weer goed. Ja, we komen er nog steeds langs. Oh. We're actually gonna pass die water tower. Ja, hier zo. Maar er was nog een uh, fietspad was dat de andere. Oh. Here's another water tower. And I think this is, has been converted. Uh, this has been converted to uh, a bar. We could have eaten here. Ja, ja. Gee. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, a flaw, it's a flaw in the route. <laughs> so, if you ride this route uh, in Dordrecht, there's a water tower that you can eat. Fell on the bike to come. So we're at the end of our ride for today. We still have about 60 kilometers left, but most of it will be highway. If you want to ride this route yourself, down in the comments or down in the description, there's a link to the route. So you can download it and ride it. I had a lot of fun today. The weather was really nice. It was a bit of a bummer about the clutch cable, but okay, shit happens. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up, and I will see you the next time. Bye.